Um, so the problem that we solved was uh, is and was glacial melt and sea level rise. And uh, the problem is and was uh, when the temperature ro rises, um, the glaciers that are on land will melt and um, flow to the sea, and that will make the sea level rise. And that will create problems to coastal areas and um, and low areas. And some islands had have already been fled because of this, because you can't live there. And they were in the Pacific Ocean. And here is some, here is like a causal map that will show different things that contribute to, uh, that will contribute to the sea level rise. Yeah. So here we have some causes. Uh, humans is kind of the biggest category here and some of these could fall into a subcategory uh, under them. But I wanted to draw a, draw a fat human, so I <laughs> I put him there. And coastal cities, they're connected to humans, and uh, they're in danger because of the sea level rising. So these are all pretty difficult problems to solve because we are so uh, like uh, used to all these things in our life, like cars and uh, meat it would be very difficult to change these habits, but I think in time we would be able to. Uh, okay, and then we created a video to, to simulate the... Screw it. Okay, so um, there, is, there is rise in the global temperature that is caused by meat production and humans, and cars, and mostly rising CO2 level, um, and deforestation, and that will um, cause glacial melt, and... So like you said, the red is difficult to change, and the yellow is, well, it could be possible, but... So glacial melting and sea level rising is the main point here, and almost everything connects to it. So reducing albedo uh, is going to in, in turn uh, melt more ice, and this is all a causal loop and feedback loops, and the arrows have a uh, back and forth. <laughs> I like this confusing look, but you just have to take time to uh, understand it. Then we did a w video to show the effects. Um, and it's like a model thing because we did it with ice outside of this house. Um, so, as the video stated, we have, to, we have to stop this. So, we narrowed down the three different kinds of solution that we thought about would be most convenient. And there is two more, more like conventional ways, and then we create a new one, which was my idea. <laughs> so, the, maybe the best way to do it uh, would be eliminating global temperature rise by cutting emission of greenhouse gases 
but that's extremely difficult because this whole camp is kind of about it. Um, then there is building dams to the lower rears, but that won't like that won't really help. Um, and then I got the idea because in Finland the ski centers will take snow and put sand on it, so it will last longer because it insulates it. Mm, and yeah, and then we decided if we would like cover the glaciers with some insulating material like sand or something, and then we would like cover it with mirrors or some kind of foil, so it would um, the albedo effect would be like really big and it would help the cause. And this was like more of an outside the box idea. And this is the ideal scenario, and we'll tell after it how we got there. But the ideal scenario is people have stopped using greenhouse gas emitting things and become vegetarians and uh, have planted a lot of trees. And that stopped the melting of the glaciers. And um, those areas that were already in danger were protected by dams. And the biggest action was to cover the glaciers with sand. And because it would, it would need a lot of sand, it was mined from asteroids. And also, the, ast the rockets use um, fossil fuel, but it w the most of the emissions will go to space, so it won't hurt the globe. <laughs> and then we covered it with aluminum foil, um, so the albedo effect would be really big, and that would slow the um, global warming also. And the only problem was that the airplanes couldn't fly over because they were so bright. <laughs> so, but that wasn't a problem because all the planes were uh, driving themselves by 2030. And Hello. Uh, so how we got there was um, because this idea was so, was so brilliant. We um, we got support for it, and then we then the um, NASA sent the uh, rockets to get the sand, the rocks to be grinded into sand from the asteroids, and uh, we created a special kind of um, what is it collection box that people could bring their aluminium foil and aluminium things, so we could create this really big foil to put on the glaciers. And that would help help the cause really much because it's good to recycle the aluminium because it would be really expensive to get that. And you see here would definitely be our astronaut. So, any questions? Wow, thanks. Great solutions. Also, uh, where to start? Maybe you also addressed the problem of meat production, but maybe l let's focus on the glacier. Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, can you just briefly explain it, us that why is it worthwhile to cover the glaciers with a a aluminium foil or or sand? What's the physics there? Um, well, I don't know. Maybe the only the aluminium foil would be enough because it would reflect uh, almost everything, all the rays from the sun. But um, but don't the glaciers reflect most of the light already? Yeah, but I think it it will be it they will reflect more, and um, I don't know about the I don't know about the sand thing, but they do that, and it apparently works, at least in slow, in in smaller scale. So I don't know, maybe the it, it it insulates from the warmer from the warmer air, so that that should that is probably the yeah. I just wanted to say that the, if we cover the glaciers with the sand, so it slows down the melting of the glaciers. So it, was the point. it was the point of it. Why does it slow down the melting? 
because it insulates it from the harder air, and then the um, added reflection would like actually help it and not just slow it down because it would uh, reduce the the uh, warm warming of the globe. Okay, let's assume your means work, and it's good that you have star started small. I actually wanted to uh, point something out with the meat production. Um, I'm not, I didn't want to say that everybody should be vegetarians, but we do have to control the meat production. You could have small farms that are like bio-friendly and still eat meat. But this, this um, system we have now in place would have to stop. Not everybody needs to be a vegetarian. Uh, but first we would like uh, do some maybe bigger testing, maybe with like, um, maybe with like, um, let's say a square kilometer area and see if that would reduce it. And um, if of, of course it would because we are right. And um, then, um, then maybe, then we would do the foil collecting thing. So, and we would produce this. Maybe it would be like stro it would be thicker than normal aluminium foil because it it's kind of weak and it would bro break. Although that is not really a problem because it it doesn't hurt if it's if it's broken somewhere. And then we maybe I don't know. It's hard to do this kind of things privately. So maybe we should just maybe some uh, we would get funding from like European Union and United States and some countries. Um, maybe some kind of coalition of Antarctic and um, yeah, Antarctic and uh, where there are glaciers over um, ground would would help to like Greenland would help this cause. And of course, the glacier melting is not the problem of the areas w with glaciers in them. <laughs> I mean, it affects globally as you. Yeah, no. yeah. So uh, I think uh, it would be good if uh, almost all the countries would chip in. But I don't know if we would get that. But the, maybe the big ones would be good. Big ones with money. Now that you made it happen at, in 2030, uh, what was the what were the first steps? Where did you? How did you collect? And first of all, did you do it on y in your spare time, or did you? <laughs> no, we uh, maybe we we are. Uh, we only have our last year left in school, so maybe we will finish that, and then after it, we would dedicate our lives to, the, to this course. <laughs> I'm graduated, so I could form a company, and I would be the face of this company, and we would always have a crowdfunding event, and every time, you have to get in by bringing a piece of aluminum. <laughs> Any more? And... Um, it's interesting to focus on this, but um, you're not uh, stopping the problem. You're, you're dealing with the causes. No, no, because um, because we would uh, the added reflection would heal that problem because it would be so strong. Mm. But do you have enough aluminium on the planet to cover um, all this ice? Yeah, that is a problem, but we could also use some other reflexive material, like some other metal. Yeah, 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 we went to space also, so there is the, those. There's material. Uh, you know it's gigantic. You, you, you look at Iceland is Icelandic, Iceland's biggest glacier, 8,500 square kilometers. All Greenland, the Antarctic, to cover all that up. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> But uh, the layer would not yes. have to be really thick because it would work with, with, uh, with a kind of a thin layer. No, but you say people have stopped using most greenhouse gas yeah. emitting things. This was like that's that's the solution. Yeah, that, to, well, uh, to that was ideal scenario. Yeah. But we also did that. But we also did the non-ideal thing because well, it's all, well because if people would start again or something, so it wouldn't hurt to do this. But this was the ideal scenario, so that would be also a good um, that would be also a good uh, solution. But I don't know which is harder to cover the glaciers, or everyone would just be very environmental friendly.
Yeah, but you're correct on, on this insulation effect of sand, and it can be seen on glaciers when there's sand accumulated on top of them, which often happens. They're like came come protrusions because it doesn't melt as much there. But um, um, uh, there is also one problem that I really didn't think about because if it would snow on on the on the foil mm -hmm. thing, <laughs> that would <laughs> that would kind of ruin the thing. So uh, it would have to be relayered um, once in a while. No. But yeah, that's exactly what, what I was going to say. You have to renew the sand every year. Yeah, but the sand thing, um, I'm sure it works because at least in Finland, yeah. <laughs> well, but uh, at least in Finland, in spring, uh, when there is no snow left, but there is some um, piles of snow that have like sand on them, and they are still pretty going pretty strong. I think that in this ideal world, we are only a one small company. And the other part, there's a bigger company out there that is dealing with the building of electric cars and changing the world and stopping these greenhouse gases. But we, we have decided that the glaciers, they need this. They need this protection. Right. Any more? I would just like to emphasize you bring in the cars on the picture, uh, the real amount of uh, release of carbon dioxide is much more from industry, from electricity production and all that. Yeah, but uh, they but stopped the using most. Yeah, just to emphasize that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you did, because this other company, this big one, it's going to eliminate all of these other um, elect or power sources, and electric and solar power and wind power, all these uh, uh, better ways are going to be part of this future, but we, we are focusing on the, these glaciers. Okay, I like the idea of having multiple strategies for fighting the battle, so it's good. Uh, just a final question, then we need to go on. We, just to make it a bit more concrete, so you will start a, a startup company, who will collect money from the investors and the public, uh, yes, and uh, collect the p little pieces of aluminium. Uh, will you, others, will you work in that company to do yeah. the... To the, the uh, to yeah, do we the would uh, create an engineering team uh, with some world's best uh, engineers, and he would be the astronaut, but he wouldn't work there because uh, it, will, it will be done uh, publicly. Oh yeah, he became an astronaut. And, he, and uh, so we formed the um, engineering team to create the uh, best possible solution to uh, cover it most efficiently. Okay. Thank you. Who's up?